Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Infinite PC Gaming here. Show you a little farming video put together uh, after the patch that just came out in Destiny. Bungie's decided to be assholes and closed down the cave basically. So you go to Earth and you're just gonna zip through all this. And basically, you're just gonna be going pretty much in the direction where uh, the, old, the good old farming cave was. So, if you're like a level 25 like I am, or even a higher level, it doesn't really matter. You can just zip right through this part. You don't have to fight these uh, these enemies that are coming up. You just pretty much run past everybody, which is surprising. I don't know why they don't attack you right away, but... So, you just follow the video for right now. Just cut through these jabronis. That's two lefts, another left. Make a right, right. And here we are. This is the area you want to be in. It's called Skywatch. It's right before the the infamous cave so right up ahead is three enemies right here you really don't have to kill them but you might as well and uh so there's one two three right here just missing look at that boom already picked up engram and uh just get this guy all right so you're gonna come back out i'll come back out over here i'm up these stairs and uh there's gonna be some enemies that spawn right from that doorway over here but just let these guys pass right by and what we're going to do is we're going to that's where the infamous cave is we're going to focus on this area right over here where the helicopters are <clears throat> and there's a cave directly up ahead so first thing I want to take out all these guys uh, it's usually about like I want to say like 5 or 6 to 8 of them right over here actually they're looking like more like 10 right now so you take care of these guys and I'll just speed up the video really quick Alright, so once you clear this area, you're going to want to go right over here, double jump up to here. Uh, typically there's actually like a loot crate right where, where I'm uh, standing right here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to come to this wall, stare at it, touch it, turn around, and there's going to be uh, enemies coming right out of this cave. Typically it's about like four, uh, anywhere from like three to five, it depends on which enemy is going to be spawning out. It could be a few captains, it could be a few regular jabronis. Uh, but as you can see, I mean, these guys are all around right here. Now, if you remember that door I showed you uh, to the right when you walk up the stairs, there's going to be enemies coming out of that uh, spawn as well. They're going to be coming from the far back. If you look right past that uh, blue container in the far back, they'll be over there. Now, in this farming spot, there's going to be a lot of enemies, as you can see, clearly see. They're going to be coming from straight ahead. They're going to be coming from the right side, uh, like towards where the old farming area is and uh, some other state park even more for the to the right where it's like a staircase or something like that now i feel like this is the best farming area because there is so many enemies and you're going to gain so much xp just by doing this i mean there's engram right over there but uh as soon as you clear out the area you know, don't shoot like don't shoot like me you know actually get some headshots and stuff like that so like i said there's some air uh enemies coming from this area but once you clear the area come right back over here look at this wall for a quick sec and typically there's going to be enemies spawning right over here underneath you like so so before you even like i would highly recommend going to the tower before you even start doing this farming because as you see to the right the ether drops there's going to be you know bounties for for that um there's another bounty for uh, using your super um on three enemies at the same time for 20 times in a row and it's going to be perfect for this area because um enemy is going to be spawning right out of that cave right underneath you so you can just you know nail them without uh without a problem basically so <clears throat> also in this area if you literally want you can attack these guys that are coming or you can go after the guys that are coming right from uh that door that i was telling you about so it's what one two three four five right here uh sometimes it's eight of them at a time but once again just rinse and repeat, kill these guys. Make sure there's nobody else around. Come back over here. Look at this wall. I don't know what it is, but it seems to always work. Uh, if not, then it means it's gonna be some enemies coming from the right hand side, like these these guys right here. Easy pickings. There you go. And these guys <laughs> spawn right back over here as well. So once again, I really feel like this is a great farming area <clears throat> uh, for anybody. I mean, if you're trying to like upgrade your subclass or, uh, or try to rank up really quick, I mean, I don't think there's any better uh, spot than this. 
It's my personal opinion, of course, because obviously I'm making the video, so I'm going to say it's the best. <laughs> Alright, so for this video, I played this area for about like a half hour. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to speed up the video, because if you play this area long enough, eventually the... Uh, the date, the time cycle is going to change, and all hell is going to break loose, and you're going to get wizards and shit coming at you, and it gets really hectic. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to fast forward to that area right now and just show you guys. All right, so here we are. All hell is about to break loose, and you're going to see it's going to be multiple shanks. Like as soon as I just change my subclass or upgrade, it's like, what the hell just happened? But uh, this is going to happen to you. And uh, here we go, some <clears throat> numerous captains, dregs, and shanks. Shank is it shanks? I don't even know what the hell they're called. They're so annoying though. But uh, like I said, this is when all hell breaks loose. You got these guys coming at you straight ahead. You're going to have guys coming over from the right hand side. You got wizards in the back already shooting. And uh, they're going to get really close to you. And these shanks and, and uh, dregs are just going to continuously spawn. So. Have plenty of ammo ready. If you have rockets, a rocket launcher, use that. Use your supers, um, and just start racking in that that XP and those engrams. I mean, there's two on the ground right there. Uh, there's a few uh, over to the right hand side as well. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fast forward to that part and show you guys how many engrams I got within about like the 20, 20 to 30 minute frame rate. Uh, frame rate. <laughs> 20 to 30 minute time. Alright, so after that whole uh, uh, battle at night, to show you guys how many engrams I got. So I got one over here, two, it's actually three right now if you count the uh, the first one I got in the beginning of the video. So four, All right. five, six, and, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And, uh, yeah, I think 11 for that whole, uh, for that playthrough. So, remember to check the, all the areas, because like I said, you're probably gonna be, you're gonna be shooting so many damn enemies, they're gonna be coming from straight ahead, the right-hand side, and all that. So, uh, remember to check for your engrams, or they'll be at the Postmaster anyway, I believe that's how it works. So, thanks for watching this video, guys, if it helped you out, please give it a like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and, uh, See you guys out in the world. Peace.